Good morning or afternoon or evening, wherever you are. <laughs> Welcome to Ride on Track with Renee Bernard. I'm Renee Bernard, which makes sense because if I weren't, then I should probably have named the channel something else. No, I apologize. <laughs> Feeling a little goofy today. So, uh, the topic of marketing came up and this is sort of an after, right? You've, you've now completed writing and life is good, but, um, so we're, we're leaping ahead <laughs> light years, but the question came up. So I thought I'd make a quick video about marketing yourself and we'll actually do a series. Um, we'll have a separate little track or channel. Um, well, this is the channel, but we'll have a little subset, um, which is about, um, publishing, um, so the challenges, making sure you're formatted correctly for different platforms, uh, and then how to, uh, market yourself and brand yourself. So this will maybe be the first video in that little, little cluster. Marketing. Obviously you are bombarded with stuff all day long. So you know about ads and, uh, Facebook and you know, Twitter accounts and Instagram, and there's all kinds of ways to build um, a brand or an impression of yourself as an author. Um, so there's sort of two things. You're either marketing yourself, uh, you're branding yourself so that readers will are looking for you and then discovering the books, or you're specifically marketing a book, right? You're trying to sell that book. So the one thing I want to say first is always remember the gold rush and that uh, once something's popular or successful or it's working, everybody is running towards that same goal. So sometimes by the time you hear about it, it's over. Uh, the other big lesson of the gold rush, if you're not fans of history in the American gold, any gold rush, is that the people that actually get rich in a gold rush are the ones that are selling shovels and mining supplies, not necessarily the people doing the hard work. So the same is true for you, dear author. And that is that sometimes you're the one doing the hard work and getting the product out there, but it's the people that are selling you stuff that seem to benefit people that are selling you, um, blog tours or selling you, um, this or that package or selling you, um, you know, the accoutrement some of it is a necessary investment. Okay. Some of it makes sense. An editor, for God's sakes, if you're going to pay for something, pay for a solid editor, but somebody maybe that you know, or that has references or, um, you know, that sort of thing. Um, I, I do editing. I'm not trying to sell, but I'm just saying that, um, yeah, <laughs> there, there, you need an editor. And my side hustle as an editor came out of watching the pain and agony of so many writers that were starting out and they were publishing before it had even passed their hands. And it clearly, this thing had never, um, been edited or, or checked. So, 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 important. so anyway, that's, that's a thing, but marketing yourself, um, there are ways to do it and spend very little, um, there are ways to do it and spend a gazillion just to make it on a list. So, um, those tracks are out there and information is out there. But what I want to say is try to get creative and go the $0 route as often as possible. You'll be amazed at how that can pay off. I know TikTok videos about books are out there. Um, and again, that's almost about branding yourself and not just specifically a book, but any way you can get across in social media, um, obviously being aware that that's there forever. So, uh, if you get super goofy and crazy and, but then later you want to try to write more serious, a nonfiction, you know, you in a chicken suit doing a dance might come back to haunt you. So pick your moments, pick your moments. But I wanted to tell you a fun story about one of my favorite authors. I think I have, oh, it's right here. La 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 in the mess. I'm finding it. So 
Here's a great book. I don't know if you did it reverse it. It's Catherine Celeste, and this is Unicorn Gold. She has a whole series of books. Okay, and these are paranormal romance, by the way. What's really fun about this uh, story, and there's someone. What's really fun is that I just found out that um, she had a bit of a marketing, uh, I don't even know what to call it, like a spontaneous, uh, fun, blippy, um, blurby thing. But there's a local radio station, and they're always looking for uh, people to call in with funny answers if they have a contest or a question of the day. And the problem is that not a lot of people call in sometimes. And so they were kind of grinding. So once she sent in a really fun response one time, they actually contacted her and said, hey, would you be willing to play more content? Like, we're going to, you know, come on, come play. And they're trying to encourage her to enter. They're like, please enter these contests because you're funny. Please, please, please. So please listen to our radio station and enter. So she was like, sure. Okay, I'll play. It's fun. So she was... Call whenever they had a contest, she would call in with whatever goofy answer she could think of. And uh, over time, about a year, um, she's just been calling in with crazy answers. The fun thing is, every once in a while, she wins these contests because she's so funny. Uh, so Catherine calls in uh, a couple days ago because they're having this really bizarre thing about hey, what did you think you were going to be when you were a kid versus what you really ended up doing? Or what you studied in university versus the reality. And of course, and I think a lot of romance authors in particular, your college degree or your professional background does not at all match your current output as, as a writer. So I have met PhDs in their fields and um, a former, uh, oh my gosh, like Navy divers. Uh, people that ha were in the military, people that uh, have all kinds of diverse backgrounds. Um, she was in IT and electrical engineering. It's unbelievable. And she is now writing super sexy paranormal. Arts. The marketing point is this. They started asking her in the contest about that. Next thing you know, she gets to talk about her books. Uh, she gets to sort of have this fun conversation. It is super uh, racy, but safe for radio. And it's so hilarious and so fun. And they are so blown away by uh, <laughs> the outcome that they are now replaying that same conversation throughout the day as a promo for their contest. She not only got to talk about her books during prime uh, drive time, but they then replayed it throughout the day. And who knows, that may still come up several times. So, wow. Yay. So excited for her. I'm not saying everybody has the humor to necessarily play this game, but I'm telling you this story because you never know when a door is going to open. You cannot, however, just start shoving your book in people's faces when they ask you about the weather. Um, you really need to make sure that you have picked your moment properly and that you're positioned to do that. So there are other things you can do. Um, if you're not afraid of public speaking, do that. Uh, I have been asked to speak at women's luncheon groups about, uh, writing or that sort of thing. I do not list my novels. I do not go on and on about me. Instead, I back up and I talk about my, my best present, my favorite speeches. Um, only intelligent women read romance. And then I explain why that's true. It's a great topic Women's groups love it. And the next thing you know, I'm, I'm all over. By doing that, I'm marketing. It's in person. Um, the other thing, gosh, this is turning into a long video. Uh, but as you're beginning to market or get out there, I know it's a pandemic right now and we're all a little stuck. However, 2022, uh, I think you're, everybody's going to feel confident and ready to get out. They're already anxious um, to get out in public and be seen. Find out about the genre conferences that exist for you. If you are a horror writer, then you join HWA. You get in there, man. You network with your people. You find your, you know, your horror um, networking hub. And by God, if you write historical romances, you come to the historical romance retreat. You are meeting super readers that read anywhere from 12 to 24 books a month. 
hello, and nothing markets more than the in-person. So yes, I know there's Facebook ads, but we all get kind of bombarded with a lot of that. So it's much more personal now. It's about building up that personality and finding a way to reach readers that's a little unique. If your local library is having a reading event where you can come and read a section of your book and talk about that or talk about your process, if there is a community college that's looking for somebody to come in and, and talk about anything um, you know, that you've learned in your research or that you can provide or share, um, get out there. Are there book clubs in the area that would be interested in reading your book? And then you could come in and talk to them about your bonus. The author is available to come and talk to you. Those little interactions can actually explode in a good way, in a good way. I mean, I guess it could explode in a bad way, but let's not do that. Let's not. Um, so I guess what I want to say is the challenge for you in marketing now, um, if you're out there with your book and you're like, yay, uh, and we'll talk about super specifics, uh, later on, um, God, we're going to have a whole section on covers. Oh, we're talking about covers. Uh, but, uh, you're out there, you're marketing. So the challenge is, yes, it's all social media and techno and isn't that great and flashy, flashy. Um, however, that means that the in-person opportunities you have are worth their weight in gold and actually the ones you should really be seeking out. Uh, so yes, you can do a pretty ad and give Facebook your money because everybody does. Uh, or Amazon, you can give them extra money um, for for because God knows they don't have enough money because they're desperate for more money. Um, but always be aware, am I buying a shovel <laughs> or am I talking about my skills as a miner? Like minor, minor, not. Although you could be a miner. I don't, you know, I don't know. Gosh. Um, a kid wrote that book about dragons. He was like 15. Um, anyway, uh, so there you go. I just wanted to share that bizarre marketing story because... I think there's more than one way to skin this cat. And I think that if you are creative enough to have written that book, and you were, and you are, then you are also creative enough to find ways to market your book and get it out there. And by golly, if you have to call into a radio station and bark like a dog or do whatever they're asking that day, and they suddenly realize, you're funny. We want you back. And that's what you do. All right, babies. Good luck. Good writing. All right. You've got this. It's spring. Summer's coming. This is it. You're really going to gonna get through it. If anybody has specific questions or a topic that they, they would like me to talk about briefly or at great length, let me know. Okay. All right, everybody. Stay right on track. I'll see you soon. Bye.